This is a Shimatsu training video for an SCL 10A VP controller with a SIL 10AF auto sampler. We're going to show you how to teach the needle to the injection port. You start by pressing F1 with the unit powered off and you hit power. This will put it into a service mode. Release it after a few seconds. When the controller is done initializing, you'll see the extra characters indicating that you're in service mode. You'll start by hitting F5, which will put you in the menu. This will be the main screen. You'll hit 0 for sequence. Then these extra uh, function keys down here will change depending on hitting function. You'll need to hit it once and twice. Notice F2 says Tech I. If you do not see anything there, you are not properly in service mode. Start again by holding F1 while uh, powering on. From here, hit F2. It will ask you, teach OK, F2 for OK again. When you do this, you cannot stop. You have to go through the uh, entire teaching process once you've hit this. It will then give you the instructions on how to use it. Notice the x-axis is left and right, the y-axis is up and down, and the up and down direction, the actual z direction up and down is 0 and CE for the keypad. You can start by moving the needle down by hitting the CE key. Initially it will take a large step, and then from there keep hitting CE. It will take individual steps. If you want to accelerate this, you can hit F5, which is shown by shift, and that will take multiple steps at once. You have to hit the F5 each time you want it to take a multiple step. It will take a number of times for that to move all the way down to the pro proper position. What you are doing is you are trying to move the tip of the needle to the top plane of the injection port. You are not recessing it down inside the injection port. You want it to use the very top of the injection port. You can use this with a small piece of paper to help judge the top of that injection port. Using a thin piece of paper, you can. Uh, a business card is usually a little too thick, you just want regular printer paper. You can put it in between the injection port and the needle. This is a very good way to judge the top of that injection port. Continue to move the needle down by hitting the F5, Shift, and the CE. When it gets close, you want to use just the CE button. This will take it down one step at a time until you see friction. Notice Steve's moving the paper back and forth. When you feel a drag, that is when you know you're at the plane of the injection port. There should be some resistance. It should not be poking through. You just want it at the top plane of that injection port. You also want to make sure that the X and Y directions are clear. Use a dental mirror to check the Y direction. To make sure that that is centered. And also for the X direction, you can look at it straight forward. This is the way it should look. It should be right at the top plane of the injection port. When the needle is in its proper position, you finalize the settings by hitting enter. That will actually flash those settings to the circuit board and save it. Notice the auto sample will initialize. Now before you continue, you want to repower. Notice the screen still has the additional uh, characters on it. You simply want to power it off and then power it on again, standard and normal, and it will run as it normally does outside of the service mode.